So now we're ready to turn all of our pictures into a video that we can save. You have two options. I really like the YouTube option because Google owns YouTube and you can easily connect this to your YouTube account. I would heavily recommend that you make up a YouTube account prior to doing this step and make sure that you have everything synced up. You know, come up to title, break description, uh, category, your tags, make sure that they are space separated. If you check off the box that the video is public, that means the whole world will see it. If you do that by mistake, I'll show you how we can et change that option in our YouTube video account server. So here's my YouTube account, and I've already clicked on my videos by going into the upper right-hand corner of the screen. If I need to change an option to make it go from, let's say, public to private, or if I want other features, I would just click on edit on one of these clips. Under the editing the video option, you can change what thumbnail you want it to have the preview, any more tags that you need to do. You can tell what date the video was shot. You can um, make it mappable if you want to make it a publicly searchable video, which can be found on Google Earth and other options. But if you just want to send the link out to specific people, make it unlisted. And then make sure that your changes are saved. Your other option to do to make this move is to actually click on Create Movie which will then render the file in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Uh, by default this video will be saved to your My Documents, My Pictures, and under that there will be a folder called Picasa, and then click under Picasa to find Picasa Movies. This way you can actually access your file in the near future. If you'd like to go back and play with some other features in the meantime, just go back to Library and wait for your video to finish rendering so that we can post it online for our next step.